and welcome to a very special edition of Gadget Show Web TV. I'm here in Berlin for Europe's biggest consumer technology showcase, IFA, and where all the major electronics companies from around the world come to unveil their latest products and to reveal what they hope will be the next must-have gadgets. Inside are over 1,400 exhibitors showing off tech you can expect to see on the shelves in the next 6 to 12 months. And with so much ground to cover, we better get started. CD still features quite heavily at EFA this year, with most of the major players announcing additions to their product range, and Samsung are no exception. Not only are they adding new 3D televisions to their product line, but they've also released the world's first 3D Blu-ray player, perfect for the release of 3D movies such as Avatar. And what's more, I've just found this, the world's first Full HD 3D Blu-ray recorder bit of a mouthful I know but it will allow you to still enjoy a social life and at the end of the evening come back and enjoy your favorite 3D programs in glorious full HD in conjunction with your 3D television and what's more with a built-in 500 gigabyte hard disk drive there's plenty of storage for all that lovely 3D content here at the Panasonic stand with yet another world's first. It's this, the world's first 3D consumer camcorder, the SDT750. You can just see the front here, got two lenses. This is a 3D conversion lens, so if I were to take it off, what you're left with is a standard HD camcorder that shoots in full 1080p and has a 14 megapixel stills camera on it. You've also got under here a built-in HDMI port, so once you've done your filming, you can plug it directly into your 3D television, you can watch what you've shot. Alternatively, you've got an SD card slot there, so if your television's got a port for that, you can just take it out, put it in, and watch your footage. And now you can see this setup here is demonstrating the 3D camera. Now, if I pick up this little pokey thing <laughs> and flick it towards the camera, these guys that are wearing the 3D glasses are viewing what's being shot on the camera there. Does it look like it's coming out towards you when I flick it? Try and hit that ball here with the streamer. <laughs> so as you can see, a great bit of new kit if you want to try shooting 3D for yourself. If you're passing through Panasonic's hall, you can't fail to notice this. It's a massive, massive television, quite possibly the largest I've ever seen. It's certainly the world's largest plasma at 152 inches. And what's more, it's ultra high definition, which is four times the resolution of high definition. And I tell you what, the picture quality is superb. Now, one of the gadgets that's caused quite a stir at EFA this year is this, Samsung's Galaxy Tab. Now, as you can see, it's tablet-sized, but it also encompasses all of the features that you'd expect to get in any smartphone. It can make calls, it's got navigation in, so you can use it and double it up as a sat-nav, use it as an e-reader. It's even got a camera on and you can shoot video and stills. It's got full HD support, so you can play back HD movies in full 1080p. And what's more, it even supports Flash, which will be a major selling point. I'm here in the LG Hall and I'm joined by UK Marketing Director Paul Truman. Now you might be able to see in the background a very stunning 31 inch OLED TV. Now that's not the only thing you've bought with you today. What other products are you here with? Well, I mean, I mean, OLED is uh, one of our key features today because we're talking about a screen, the biggest screen at 31 inches with a fantastic picture and running 3D. Um, as well as that, I think the other one that everybody's talking about this show, as they've been doing all year, is 3D. Yeah. So I think we're very excited by 3D and you'll see 3D available on these screens. Also on our new 600 uh, hertz plasma, which we're launching this show. And the other key thing that we're bringing, especially to UK consumers, is we've now signed uh, a deal with Sky where we'll be looking at taking the message of not only LED and LCD and plasma out to people so they can really experience 3D firsthand because we believe it's all about the show and tell. When people see the passive and active technologies and we're the only manufacturer that's delivering both those technologies, they'll be able to make better choices for what they want in their home and for their families. So it's a very exciting time. 
But Ether isn't just about the latest TVs and cameras. There's also a whole range of high-tech gadgets on show designed to make your domestic life that much easier. Now, the smell of chips brought me over this way. This is the Philips Air Fry, and I'm with Michael, who's going to explain to us how this works. Now, this makes chips with no oil. How does that work? That's the whole point, because, you know, families, mothers like to take care of the family, but also like to indulge yes. their little children. And what do little children like? French fries. These chips are really good, but they, they're nice and crispy, but they don't taste oily. So how does it work? So it works with this rapid air technology, fast circulating hot air through the appliance in combination with the grill elements. Now I notice that you've got loads of different pictures on here, so I assume it doesn't just do fries. It can do really a variety of all different kind of dishes, potato kind of dishes, but also chicken nuggets, steak as well. Let's have a little look. And I like always this crispy sound of yeah. fries. They should be golden brown and crispy. Brilliant, I'm sold. When is it out? <laughs> December in the UK. I'm gonna eat some more of these because they're really good. <laughs> Check this out, it's Samsung C9000 television. New television, and believe it or not, I'm gonna walk around this way because it's spinning around. It's just 7.98 millimeters thin, the thinnest television you can get anywhere. If you just look at how thin it is in comparison to my finger, look, it's amazing. And the picture quality is fabulous. And Samsung also showed off their latest TV features, including their Internet at TV service, which allows TV viewers to access a whole multitude of entertainment straight from the web, including YouTube, BBC's iPlayer, Love Films On Demand Service, Muzu's Music Streaming and many more. We all know about 3D. We've all seen Philips Cinema 21x9 television and their Ambilight television range. But what would happen if you combined all three features together? Well, you'd end up with the world's first Full HD 3D 21x9 television. And it's right there on that wall. Now, the great thing about it being such a cinema-esque television is you get 58 inches in the 21x9 aspect ratio, which is great if you've got all your mates around to watch a 3D movie because you don't have to fight for space around the screen. Now, if I just pop these glasses on, I can tell you now that the picture quality is fantastic. And with the Ambilight feature on the back, it really adds to an immersive cinematic watch. Do you know what? Even though I'm on the end of this row, I'm still getting the full 3D effect, which I'm a bit surprised about. I thought you'd have to be right in centre screen to appreciate it, but you don't. Sony were also in full force showcasing their full 3D range, from their latest TVs to portable cameras. And it looks like 3D is the future for Sony, as they also had a few exciting products that won't be hitting the shelves for some time yet. Right, I'm in the Sony hall next to the 3D Vio prototype. It's under lock and key, so I can't get my grubby mitts on it. But Ed, when is this looking like it's going to go into full production? This for us is really a technical demonstration. It's a kind of example of what we can do with 3D at the moment. So we're hoping to have something similar to this maybe first half next year at some point. I actually had a little look through the glasses earlier and the picture quality is brilliant. And to get this on a laptop that you can take away and on such a favourable brand, I can't wait to get our hands on it. It's spot on. I mean, like, like you said, the picture quality is superb. It's one of kind of Vio's really core cool traits, as it were, a great quality image. Now, you've also mentioned curiosity at E for this year. Do you want to just explain a little bit more to everyone at home a bit more about it? Sure. So curiosity is allowing consumers to kind of purchase and stream content from the web, from the cloud, directly to their devices in the lounge or throughout and about. So obviously we have PlayStation Video available at the moment, so your PS3. So it's really taking much of the same video content and making that available on your Bravi or your Blu-ray player, but also with the addition of music as well, which is really a kind of first for us. Well, that was IFA 2010. So, what were the highlights? Well, it was plain to see that all the major manufacturers are still pushing 3D in a big way. So, maybe next year will be the year that 3D TV and gaming finally conquers the home market. Elsewhere, it was nice to see internet-enabled technologies implemented properly in TVs and Blu-ray players with decent-sized on-demand libraries of both music and movies. And this could open the door to a whole new world of cloud-based entertainment. However, as we all know, predicting the gadget future is impossible. But from what I've seen here over the last few days, I think it's safe to say we're in for a very entertaining year.